Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another episode here at Ford Era. We got me, Solomon, and today we're actually going to be visiting Locar. And if you don't know Locar, you're about to find out. They make a ton of awesome stuff for hot rods, billet accessories, transmission parts, I mean, tons of things. So here's the showroom. Man, I love this Camaro. Hello. So we're going to find Joe, and then I'll show you guys around. All right, so we found Clay and Joe, and now we're gonna be taking a tour. So where are we headed into? All right, go ahead, Joe. Going in the machine shop production. This is assembly, our warehouse. Uh, machine shop's up in the corner over here. So yeah, we're- uh, You guys have a lot on the shelves. Yeah. Yeah, try to keep a lot. Not as much as we'd like right now. It's going off the shelves faster than we can get it put on there. Well, that's a, that's a blessing and a curse, right? Yeah, it's really good. I got so all, so all these there. different adapters for steering wheels and got some so wheels up on top. Stuff, yeah, there's a lot of this inventory is down through here. Right? So what what all are on majority of the shelves? Um, or everything is basically yeah, pretty much everything. Yeah. So you got pedals, shifters. I mean, um, pretty much everything you're known for, right? Yep. Awesome. These are all steering wheels. I didn't realize you guys had so many steering wheels in stock. I figured that the Lacara stuff were more of a uh, custom yeah. order because they look so custom. Oh, uh, no. Well, you know what? We, we do have seven different colors of leather that we put on them. So we always have black in stock and we try as we get caught up, which has been tough this in this day and age. But yeah, we put a little bit of the colors in because the colors don't sell nearly as, as well as the, but, but yeah, at some point we'll have every, at least one or two of every color. So, and every style, we have about 1200 SKUs right now. By the time you figure color combinations and oh, steering wow. wheel. Just that's just steering wheel. Dip sticks. Kick downs for the trans. You know, uh, dip sticks, assembly, shifter cables, control cables, and shifters. That's, I don't know what it makes up, but it makes a ton up. I mean, there's a batch of shifters right there, but there's a lot to them, so. Here we go. I always like the way that the <clears throat> my voice is gone. I always liked it the way that the uh, the tall shifters kind of look like the stick shift. Yeah. And then uh, you know you just have to kind of pay attention. Now it's like all right, everybody knows. All right, that's what low car is. But I remember in the beginning, the first time I saw them, I was like, what the heck is that? You know, it's funny is our newest shifter that we're really pushing is called a gated shifter. So it's a it's kind of a simpler mechanism. So you don't need the push button. And the nice thing about that is some people like that motion the way that works but the biggest reason we did it is so you can bolt any kind of a shift lever on it so now you've got a rat rod guy you're not limited to just the stuff we make a lot right. of guys are making like they'll put her shifters on them so it looks like a stick shift yeah, that's really so, cool yeah so that's, that's that's kind of a cool deal so yeah assembly and so assembly and shipping I, it's i like how ls classic one of our other companies we build uh retro looking parts for ls engines Nice. Like our valve covers and our valve covers are cool because they don't use any kind of an adapter plate. They bolt right to the LS engine. I think they're cool because they're right there, made in the yeah, USA. Absolutely. Yeah, so that's like a big block Chevy cover. Wow. And then we've got, got the 409s. And then we do a small block Chevy version. That's awesome. Yeah, How's that stuff doing? Let me take my iPhone. It's doing well. I mean, it, it's niche. I mean, it's not for everybody, it's pricey. But it's, I mean, if you want a fuely look, I mean, it's just badass. Like, yeah. It's, or if it's you're very cool. putting a new LS into your, you know, 1963 yeah. Impala SS and it or looks whatever. Like, I don't know. When we go over to the other shop where we've got a mocked up, I'll show you a mocked up engine. But I mean, at first glance, I mean, the thing looks like a 63 fuel injected Corvette. It yeah. sure does. It's pretty cool. So there's more assembly up there. Um, that's mostly where I think we build shifters up there. Okay. So, we have a, a shifter lady who's like the expert shifter lady and she's got a couple of helpers. But... That's just, we have a really small welding department, like, like four guys in there. And then it's just a machine shop. Everything from all the knobs to... Yeah, it's probably a dipstick part, yeah. I mean, basic machine shop. Cutting, cutting chips all the time, you know? I guess, I guess the machine right here, I mean, it runs these intakes all the time. So the 
I'm assuming it's, it's cast, and then you guys CNC it to, for perfect. Yeah, you have to all the mating surfaces. Yeah, you have to you have to fly cut all the mating surfaces, clean up all the overing grooves. Yeah, we just get moving. And that's a special. It's a really special machine because that that orange piece there. Uh -huh. That's called the trunnion. So the trunnion will actually tilt and the table will actually tilt. I don't know if you'll see that, but. Yeah. Super cool. You know, they're building shift steering column or steering adapters, so they use this to just test to make sure everything's fitting right. Got C and C. Yeah. But two in the last few months, we have another one that's going to be here any day. Wow. Just steering adapters we can't keep up on. How many C and C's are in here? I want to say we've got about 40. Wow. Something like that. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, they just. We don't run two shifts, we only run run shifts, so. Really need to run a second shift, but tough getting people. I guess first first part of uh, that's a shift linkage of some kind. Yeah, like a, like a transmission linkage, transmission shift arm, I believe. I always find it interesting how like you see the beginning part was probably just a big yeah, square, yeah. and then the final part, you know, which yeah. is a beautiful yeah, piece. Exactly. Of so it kind of goes like this. So they'll, they'll machine one big part and then they'll take this in the bandsaw and cut them into smaller parts to do the next wow. operation. Very different. So much thought has to get put in. That's a for a steering wheel. Oh, really? So we had to make a new mold for one of the steering wheels, yeah. I'll show you a steering wheel hoop, but just remember this, so it's round. And I'll show you the hoop. Okay. And then we weld this hoop around it. So the spokes actually go into here. And we grab the spokes into this. And then this, uh, we buy this stuff like it's coiled. And then when it's all welded together, we lay it in that mold, close the mold, shoot plastic in there, and that's what makes it round. Oh. And then we stitch around the round. We put wow. leather on the round. Yeah. So much engineering goes into these parts. A lot of the people, they just don't realize it. They just go to JEGS and order it or Summit yeah, yeah, yeah. or yeah. wherever it is. And it's like, all right, boom, parts here. And, and like this, there's so many processes. I mean, I think our like our, our, our basic wheels, leather stitch are about, I think we retail them for about $169. Some people are like, man, that's a lot of money, man. You have no idea what goes into it. Oh my God, by the time, yeah. I mean, that's you gotta pretty have cheap. a guy here coiling and you gotta make, make sure they're straight. Then you gotta, the brad takes time and the, the leathers, I mean, it's just, it's crazy, it's crazy. Wow. Every time I turn around, I'm ordering $5,000 of the leather, you know? Yeah, it's a lot. It's, awesome. it's hard, yeah. It takes a long time to get efficient enough to make it good, you know? Yeah. What are we looking at now? This is a Coveco steering wheel. We actually uh, bought the company Coveco back in December. And uh, they make all symmetrical, so the spokes are all in the same location. And they're stainless steel, and they're foam covered. Um, we haven't set up production here, but, but this is the kind of wheel they make. They were the original company that made these. In fact, there was a Coveco wheel on the original Batmobile. Wow. Yeah, yeah, so um, they're real popular with boat guys because they're really strong. 
uh, but also the rat rod. Guys, if you want a Coveco steering wheel right now, you go on like Jalopnik or whatever, and guys are paying hundreds of dollars for an original Coveco. So we bought it. It was guy was just trying to get out of it, um, and just we wanted another brand, another cool brand, you know. So. Mm -hmm. It's wild how, like, literally how much you guys have. A lot of people probably don't realize. Freaking too much. Oh, dude, there's stuff, like, I don't even know. I've been with the company a year and a half. Somebody asked me for something the other day. I'm like, I don't think we have it. I'm like, oh, look. Oh. oh, no, you know what? I was looking through our new catalog. I got a new catalog a couple months ago, and I started looking through. I'm like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, so our LS Classic, our vintage LS Classic parts that we were looking at, so we also sell those in complete crate engines. So if a guy builder, sell them to a lot of builders, they can buy them all assembled with pulley kits. I mean, there's a there's a big block looking one right there. Man, does that look cool. Wow. Yeah, so this is where we kind of R&D. That's our run stand. Every crate engine goes out here, we run it. We check it for leaks. Uh, put, put, we put a startup tune to come with poly. ECUs and systems, so we'll put a startup tune in and make sure they run, make sure they have no oil or no oil leaks or anything like that. So, what else is in here? Uh, the rest is basically a fab shop. I mean, the owner, but we iron D some stuff. That's one of the owners' Jeeps. He's building a Jeep. I mean, he's building a new race car. They race. Uh, we got street rods, but I mean, that's where it all started, and that's where we R and D stuff. You know, um, if you race and you build cars, I mean, it, you build parts you can sell for people's cars, right? I mean, that's, how, that's how most of us started. This you industry. build it for yourself, and then someone's like, hey, can oh, I buy that? Born. And then boom, yep. you turn into a business. Yep, yep. Yeah, you, I mean, you can you go on Florence Seema, that's probably 90% of the companies will tell you that same story, you know? But they like, they still like doing it. The owner, Skip, who started the company like in the late 80s, I mean, he's building, uh, I think he's building new 33. They just took the body of the guy yesterday. I mean, he's building the car all the time. He's doing a race car or a street ride all the time. So, so cool. Yeah, they got yeah. So they got the truck, one of the boys races, and then they got dragster in the trailer. And... It's a nice setup. Yeah. And then uh, see more of those coiled up that you were showing me, and then yeah, you got a whole might, bunch of might. the motors. Yeah, they do some operations down here. Sometimes it's just easier for the small machine. Sometimes. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, we just we just uh, trying to buy. I mean, everybody's out of parts. Chevrolet's even running out of parts. We're buying every crate engine we get our hands on. So. Crazy times. Yeah, that's this looks cool. beautiful. Oh, so this shelf is all the just the parts sitting. This stuff like R and D, and you know we're working on. A, this is a new 409 air cleaner we're working on. We just had all the parts built for that, so just fit and finish type stuff, you know. Pictures too. We just mocked that up to do some pictures. Awesome. So, all right, we'll show them the next part in a second. Hey guys, so we just finished up with low car. It was a fun time. And uh, now we're gonna be on to the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, please give us a thumbs up. Drop a comment down below if you have any questions or just wanna help us with the rankings because comments really help out. If you like the content, consider subscribing. Catch you later.